Well, hello there. What are you doing? I like it. Okay, that's the intro today. So today we're gonna do an unboxing, an in-depth review of this bike from Yusudo, which is the number one seller on Amazon. And like with all of our unboxing, we'll put it together and do all that first impression stuff. But at the end, we're gonna add on a part. After we beat on it for a week or two, we're gonna give you kind of some more authentic impressions rather than just outside of the box. So we got this bike because we were looking for a bike in the winter time to get our body rate temperatures up. We do, you know, some cardio stuff, jump rope stuff, things like that. But in the winter or when you can't get outside to really get yourself warmed up, it was getting difficult. But at just under $400 or sometimes with coupons closer to three, somewhere in between there, I bought another barbell instead. I'm gonna be honest with you. But Yusudo was nice enough to reach out to us and say, we're looking for some attractive, funny, intelligent people to do a review on our bike. And Ricky from Garage Gym Gains and Basement Brandon, uh, they were busy. So they had to settle and, and come up with us. And we told them we're not cyclists. I, I do not like cardio. I have a long history of competitive running. I hate it. Um, and you know we're gonna be brutally honest and they said, go for it. So they figured, well, it, it's free, I'm not stupid, I'm gonna take it. Uh, so anyway, Winnie's not gonna talk in this entire intro. Let's get into it! So we're gonna get into the unboxing. We're just gonna build it and tell you our experiences with building. We're gonna cut this up so it's pretty quick. I don't think it'll be particularly difficult, but we'll let you know. Where's the knife? Okay. 20 minute reveal. Wow, we did that with no issue. No issue. So packaged really well. It's got a set of instructions. We'll see what it says, but it doesn't look particularly complicated. So we'll see how it goes. It does come with a set of tools and it's not that I'm not interested in this device, but I'm just gonna use my own tools. This is the 7A model with the 40 pound flywheel. This is the newest model, the 330 pound capacity version. It's got an average rating of four and a half out of five stars on Amazon, and they upgraded a lot of the stuff from the older version. This is kind of your basic or budget, basically a beginner or casual bike. We're not competing with Rogue and Peloton in a price point here. Again, it's an economy bike, so call your expectations. I know with version one, they upgraded a lot of the stuff. So some of those things people would talk about, like a flimsy wheel for adjusting resistance or the metal cage on your pedal, those have been swapped out for slight upgrades. It's a belt driven bike, but the belt is hidden under protectors. So you don't have to worry about getting bound up there. There is a touch point with the flywheel. So you'd have to be careful around kids. It weighs 86 pounds and with wheels on the back, it's pretty easy to move around. As we put it together, the pieces feel about what you'd expect, maybe on average a little higher end than I would have thought for that price point. She gone! Oh baby, second try. Get that on tape. I'm cutting that part. No. I'm gonna roll the part where you lost the thing. No. Uh, the moment of truth. Installation of the water bottle. Installation of the water bottle! Doesn't fit. That's not a water bottle. Doesn't fit. <laughs> That's not a water bottle. Not Zevia food. <laughs> well, that was easy. Who's testing it first? So you know what you're getting? Let's go over the specs. We'll start with the LCD display. It displays time, speed, RPM, distance, calories burned, but it does not have a backlight. For the resistance adjustment, we have this knob where you can turn to either increase or decrease your resistance, basically from zero to infinity. During my quick test, it felt very smooth. You can adjust the resistance on the fly while you're cycling. It really doesn't matter. It also comes with an additional resistance pad. It feels like felt. I guess if yours wears down, you can replace it. For our handlebars, we're gonna have two ways to adjust it. You have the height. There's a lot of different ways to grip it. 
<laughs> the only thing that's really noticeable to me is this foam feels cheap. I don't know how it's gonna hold up after some years of wear and tear. Hey, you like wheelies? Doesn't work on this bike. You know what does work? That subscribe button. Hit it. Pew, 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 pew. We have a metal pedal with a plastic cage attached to it. It's very nice, but really nothing to bike home about. <laughs> it is a belt driven system that spins this 40 pound flywheel. In our experience, it spun smoothly even while adjusting the resistance. It also comes with this sick water bottle holder that is height adjustable, but it's time for the real test. Zevia approved. While we're down here, let's talk about the adjustable rubber feet. When we first put this bike together, it was very wobbly, but we realized that by adjusting the rubber feet underneath, you could level it out. So because it's rubber and it's adjustable, that gives you a lot of forgiveness if you have an uneven surface. The seat is two ways adjustable, so it can go up and down or forwards and back. It's not your typical cycling seat. It's wider, more cushiony. I think they were going for comfort as opposed to speed. There is some bounciness to it, uh, and I'm sure we can all appreciate a little bit of bounce. All right, you ready? What do I do? Just look cute, be the eye candy. I'm good at that. <laughs> all right, so we just finished putting this bad boy together. It took us probably 15 minutes. It was not difficult. We just looked at the pictures. Um, we accomplished it. So now we're gonna test it out. or that buff, one of them's got a lot of bounce. <laughs> See if I can watch my own videos. Okay, it's pretty funny. After my initial ride through, I predicted that this plastic phone and tablet holder would be an issue because it's just a hard plastic and it really digs into your hand. So we pretty much have permanently taken it off. Um, we don't even really use it. <laughs> Additionally, I'd never really used a bike before, so I wasn't sure how I was gonna incorporate it into my workouts, but I found using it as a warm up and cool down has really helped. If you have a bike like this in this budget range or this one, let us know in the comments your thoughts and then maybe we could check out those other bikes in this range. I would say at three to $400, my expectations were not particularly high. That's a lot of material, a lot of equipment, especially shipped for that amount of money. But based on that, my expectations were low and this thing kind of blew it out of the water. My son actually said when we got this, we put it together and he's like, daddy, look at that fancy bike. It's fancier than Grammys. So <laughs> it looks good and it, it felt pretty good. So even though I had low expectations, the build quality and everything, is, it really pleasantly surprised me. I always think if you're getting a budget bike, you're not gonna be disappointed with this one. Bye. <laughs>